Hey, what's up guys? I'm Rob Richards back here at the Mecca of Bodybuilding Gold Gym in Venice, California. On today's video, I'll be breaking down four fundamental exercises for the chest, ideal for beginners and advanced lifters. And I'll be using the Beast Sensor again to give me accurate real-time information on everything from the velocity to my reps, the speed, and the actual force that I'm putting out on each and every exercise. On that note, let's kick things off and get started on exercise number one. Okay, so let's talk about chest. One of the biggest questions I'm asked about training is, how fast should you do your reps? What about the tempo cadence? How should you count when you're pushing up that concentric part of the movement where you're shortening the muscle, as opposed to that lengthening of the muscle, the come down, if you like, when you're lowering the weight? Now, that's a great question, regardless whether you're a beginner or more of an advanced lifter, especially if you're looking to optimize your goals. The weight is one factor, but also the speed at which you perform that exercise engage and contract the muscles. So thanks to the guys over at Beast, they've given me the sensor again to put to use. We're gonna test this based on the optimal time that we need to be pressing that weight with the most amount of weight. So this is gonna be really interesting for me because I get to see if the amount of weight that I move up to is optimal for the results based on whichever my goal is, which let's say for this workout is about growth, hypertrophy. So let's get the sensor set up Let's uh, show that data in real time and see based on the amount of weights and also the types of exercises at what speed and what weight is gonna be the optimal range for those results. have a look at the data. So for the purpose of this experiment, if you like, I'm gonna stick with 10 reps on every exercise from now on. And I can see here the average mean speed of those reps. So let's go and have a look at some more information. This is also great because it allows me to track the progress over each week. I can store my workouts in here. I can follow random exercises. I can see here based on that load, what my reps are. What I'm really looking for here is Velocity-based training, BBT. I wanna make sure that this range here, that 0.62, the hypertrophy is between 0.1 and one. So let's get another 50 pounds on in total and see how that is gonna be affected after our next set. Point four five, so that's dropped down. I'm still within that range. Now what I'm looking for with this is to find that optimal weight. Obviously I can lift a certain amount, but I know from experience if I go too heavy, I'm not really optimizing those muscles as effectively as if that weight were dropped back a little bit and I'm engaging the muscles more so than if it's going too heavy. So don't be fooled by that, especially if you're a beginner. Don't think that that total amount of weight will dictate how much muscle or gain you're gonna get from that. There's a range, and if you exceed that, you're not gonna optimize your training. So this is a great tool to see at what point I go too heavy, my speed drops down, and I'm not effectively engaging those muscles. So this would be interesting to see how the data plays out with this next exercise. We've already got a number of exercises in here, but I don't think we have the dumbbell flies, so let's add that one now. So 
So velocity based training, we can see here VBT, but for hypertrophy, we're looking at 0.1 to one, which I'm well smack bang in the middle of that. But you know what, let's switch it up. Let me increase the tempo a little bit and we can see if we can really start to hit that velocity training and get the, uh, the range above 1.3. Yeah, that one felt harder purely because yeah and i'm still still within that hypertrophy range performing it at a faster pace works the muscles obviously faster and even without increasing the weight on that one i feel it more in my chest allow yourself adequate rest time before going back and especially if you're attempting a heavier weight but don't keep it too long for me it's about 45 seconds to 60 seconds at most Sometimes I'll increase the weight and get straight back into it if I'm feeling good, but also play it by ear. Sometimes I feel like I need more rest, a little bit longer recovery. I'll allow enough time until I feel ready enough to go back and hit that heavier weight. Let's move back to uh, a press type. We'll hook up a Smith machine incline now for the upper region of the chest. And again, we'll find that optimal, that median power range. And then we'll start to adjust that by adding more weight on and see how that affects the B sensor in real time. Once you've kind of got the basics out of the way of chest, which we've got a bench press with a, a barbell, we've got dumbbell flies again with a free weight. Now we can start to isolate the muscle a little bit by using a Smith machine, which keeps us fixed on this axis. So we don't have to use as much strength and effort to stabilize that bar. We can focus fully on just pressing and controlling back down. I'd say for that particular goal of strength, I'm well within that range. So even though I'm pretty much at the heaviest weight I can do for that set, bear in mind that I've already done two exercises. I've done high reps, a little bit more volume on that one. So we'll be able to keep track of this for future workouts and see how my strength will progress on at least this exercise and also see how that data transfers to other chest exercises. Let's move on to cables now, set the arms at a higher incline, and for this, finish off with some nice cable flies to really focus and work the inner portion and the upper section of the chest. Fourth and final exercise, cable flies crossover. It's our first readout here, focusing on strength, average mean speed 0.3, let's see what that is for performance. You see the range there, I'm more within that hypertrophy, just on the bottom section of that power. Okay, it's got a little heavier, let's see how that affects it now. Look at that, set number three. More power there, obviously the weight went up by about is that 20 pounds nearly. That's gonna be a great comparison weekly progress. So by doing the same routine next week, I'll be able to get a second graph up there and see how that will increase and eventually start to level off, which is where I tend to plateau. That's gonna be a key signal for me to change something in my routine or even change the style of my workout. Can see right there that's where i finished a little bit lower there a little bit higher too so even though it felt heavy i was smack bang middle in that optimal range for performance and i'll be able to track that on weekly workouts 
All right, there we have it. That wraps up the end of today's workout, focusing on four key chest exercises. We've got that flat bench press, we've got the flat dumbbell flies, we've got an incline on the Smith machine press, and we're gonna finish off with some more flies with the cable. Great variety in there, tons of different movements and ways that we're gonna work the chest, and already I'm feeling like I've had a really good chest workout. Another thing with this beast sensor, it's given me real-time information that I can adjust the following set. So the main benefit I see with this is that you can take emotion out of it and actually look at real data. We've all come to the gym and we've either felt like we're gonna have a great workout or we're just not quite in the mood, but actually seeing real data of your force, your velocity, your tempo, the reps and sets, and see if, hey, maybe today is just not the day to go heavy and you wanna focus more on performance and focus a little bit more on your speed and tempo. Anyway, check them out. You can find out more about the information in the text description below or by checking up here somewhere in the little slide out box. And as per usual, be sure to check out my Facebook page, Rob Rich's Fitness. I'm still doing the weekly live streams. You can ask your questions, see workouts and recipes in the kitchen as they happen. And don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay up to date with more of my training, nutritional and lifestyle videos. I'll see you guys back here real soon. Take care, keep training hard and stay motivated. See you soon.